fun. Let's talk a bit about diet. This is a community video again, so I'm just sharing the way I approach things, let's say. I approach things in a very analytical way. It doesn't mean that I don't make mistakes. I'm no nutritional expert, just want to share some crazy experiment that I'm going to do now. This is not a strong commitment, I already have a strong commitment, uh, which I shared in another video, but life goes on and one has to keep doing things. So I've been tracking my body fat for the last couple of years and has been yo-yoing. And so this is yet another attempt to get it under control. And so I've been thinking what could I do that would fit my personality, my habits, my tastes, and that would, wouldn't get me crazy. And so what I want to do is to cook in the morning for the whole day and then eat that one dish, um, like split it up into six and then eat every two and a half hours. So I've been doing a little Excel sheet where I have kind of nutritional values of the things that I already eat regularly and that I enjoy. So I made a list of those. And in the end, if you have habits, there are not so many, right? So there are a few guilty foods. I want to still allow myself to eat those things, but I can control the amount. So I have the Tupperware here. The idea behind the six meals is um, it would help me not feel too hungry throughout the day and maybe even even out the amount of energy that I get throughout the day. And here we are. So it's nine in the morning and it's the second time I'm going to be eating rice and chicken. <laughs> Here's the meal. Don't get me wrong, it's a crazy experiment. I'm aware of that, uh, but that's what I do, crazy experiments. So comment of the week is by someone i can't look it up right now the comment is simply man and i picked that comment because it was the first comment by that person and i don't know for how long you have been following me whether that was your first video or whether you have been watching this stuff for a while anyway thank you for reaching out i appreciate the fact that someone goes from just watching not participating to actually actively engaging in this thing that I hope will turn into a community of self-help, of helping each other, of growth, uh, where we can exchange ideas, make experiments, show our results. Last week I committed to no social media except during weekends and between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. I removed all apps from my phone and I added uh, the leech block add-on to Firefox that blocks those websites. So it has been going well and it has been giving me a lot of opportunities to be creative, to um, think, to do other stuff that I wouldn't have done. Something interesting that I noticed when I finally could open Facebook and YouTube in the evenings I was often disappointed about how little news notifications um, things worth watching and seeing there were by the way I think this is this strategy falls into the larger strategy of batching which is something that Tim Ferriss talks about so the general rational self-help entry of the week is there is a video by Tim Ferriss I recommend you go and watch it it's about batching batching makes you more productive Batching is basically the opposite of multitasking. It's doing one thing at a time and taking that principle to the extreme. So in my case, what I'm doing is I'm batching my social media 
consumption. Or with diet right now, I'm batching cooking. For now, that's it. Have a good day.